All right, let's head to the border now. Governor Katie Hobbs is sending our state's National Guard to the border to have help federal officials manage the recent influx of migrants. It comes as the Lukeville port of entry remains closed. Scripps News reporter Ford Hatchett learning more about the governor's order and getting reaction from across the political spectrum. Governor Hobbs signing an executive order Friday, mobilizing the Arizona National Guard to the southern border. She's doing what she can, but it's a band-aid. Hobbs says Guard members will be stationed in multiple spots, including the still-closed Lukeville port of entry, which the governor visited last weekend. For far too long, Arizona has borne the brunt of federal inaction on our southern border, and I'm tired of it. Hobbs says the National Guard will help local law enforcement, including on human trafficking and drug enforcement efforts. For their part, the National Guard says they're still waiting for orders on exactly how troops will be deployed and how many will be sent. Work with the agencies that um, that are making this request, that are uh, needing the support, determine what that is so we can effectively provide them with the service members that are going to be best suited for that role. Because right now it is hurting business here in uh, Arizona. Arizona's delegation in Washington pleading with the Biden administration to send more resources to the border, which could allow Lukeville to reopen. And I don't think they realize just how impactful closing that port of entry would be for the Arizona economy. Congressman Raul Grijalva says he doesn't support allocating state National Guard resources in a statement calling the border crisis, quote, a result of the void left by the inaction of the Republicans in Congress and the Biden administration. The Arizona Sheriff's Association and lawmakers both asking for additional funding for enforcement at the border. The sheriffs have been saying this for a very long time, and we continue to say it. And it keeps getting worse and not better. Yeah, I'm optimistic that the uh, Lukeville port will not be closed for very much longer. For now, the waiting game continues. Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, the migrant surge continues at the San Miguel Gate and the Tohono O'odham Nation. They're seeing an average of 800 to 1,000 migrants a day. The National Guard being deployed to the border by Governor Katie Hobbs will not be deployed on the Tohono O'odham land. While the port of entry remains closed in Lukeville, the economic impact only deepens for businesses who rely on that route to be open. One of those businesses is Barb's Dog Rescue. It's hard to miss on the highway into Rocky Point. The shelter relies on food donations from tourists. Those donations have dried up since the port of entry closed. When you have 450 dogs and, you know, thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars in vet bills every month, I mean, those donations are something that we really rely on. We bought uh, $4,000 worth of dog food from Sam's Club uh, in Rocky Point earlier this week, and that will be gone by this weekend. Now, many of the dogs that you're seeing end up being adopted in Arizona, but because of the port closure, none of them are leaving the shelter.